Hello, my name's Anne-Marie Howell and I am the author of Mystery of the Night Watchers and I'm absolutely thrilled that this book has been picked for Blackwell's Children's Book of the Month for July. It's so lovely, especially as this story is so close to my heart because it's set in my hometown of Bury St Edmunds, which is where I live now. I've always wanted to write a story set here but just needed the right idea. And when I read an article about Halley's Comet approaching the Earth in 1910, I thought maybe this was the idea for my hometown. Because there's a building in my town that has a rooftop observatory called Cupola House, and I thought maybe the characters in my story could watch the comet from there. So that's where the idea came from. Now, the story is about 12-year-old Nancy, who goes to stay with a grandfather who she's never met before. So she's whisked off to Suffolk with her mother and little sister, Violet. And when Nancy arrives, she discovers her grandfather's house is very old and musty. The curtains must be kept drawn at all times. And her mother and grandfather start leaving the house with very strange brown paper packages, even though Nancy and her sister are forbidden from leaving. Nancy also discovers that her grandfather and mother are not watching the comet from the observatory. They're watching something else. And that's when the mysteries really start to deepen. And with the help of her grandfather's delivery boy, who's called Birch, they start to discover family secrets and buried lies that affect both of them. And in fact, they affect people in the whole town. I hope anybody that loves a really good mystery with lots of twists and turns would enjoy reading Mystery of the Night Watchers. I had such fun writing it, um, set in my hometown of Bury St Edmunds. So thank you again to Blackwells for all of your support and for making Mystery of the Night Watchers your children's book of the month for July. I love visiting Blackwell's bookshops. I go to Heifers in Cambridge all the time and browse the shelves there for hours. So this means such a lot to me. Thank you again, that's brilliant.